How many times have you felt frustrated creating PowerPoint presentations? Yes, going into PowerPoint and taking data that you have in Microsoft Word, summarizing it so you can present it in your next meeting. That spends hours and hours of your time building out content that you already had. Not only that, if you need to create a brand new presentation, do you spend time scratching your head wondering how to best get started? Or if you're a decision maker and you receive PowerPoint files to review either before or after the meeting, wouldn't it be great to be able to summarize that PowerPoint, understand if you have any action points, and then also help with getting those decisions right? Well, today I'm gonna to be showing you how we can do exactly that. Because with the new Microsoft 365 Copilot integration in PowerPoint, we can do all of those scenarios. Now, before we dive in, I'd love it if you hit that like button to let me know you like this content. Even better, of course, hit that subscribe button and come on a journey with me to turn you into a productivity superstar, meaning you're gonna use the tools that you already have in much better ways. So if you're ready to change the way that you PowerPoint, let's go. So let's get started with Copilot. And you may be wondering why on earth are we in Microsoft Word when this video is all around PowerPoint? Well, that's because I'm gonna focus on the most important element I think Copilot helps with, taking data from Word documents and bringing them into PowerPoint, a task that I can spend hours on every month that Copilot can now help with. Because here we have a project scope document, project green space, transformation of a piece of land into a community space. We can see in this document, we have project overview, objectives, deliverables, budgets, timelines, and more. And for my next meeting with my stakeholders, they wanna be talked through this information. And guess what? It's gonna take me hours to put all of this into a PowerPoint file. Well, with Copilot, we can have that work done in just a few minutes. So this document lives in my OneDrive for Business and utilizing Microsoft 365 Copilot, what I can do is go and copy the link from inside of this document. With that link then copied, we can head into Microsoft PowerPoint. And with PowerPoint now open, we can go ahead and open our Copilot sidebar. If I left click into that, we'll actually see in the Copilot sidebar, it gives us some examples right at the top. Create a presentation from a file or add a slide about. But here, we're gonna to want to go and use the file I've just copied a link from. So I'm gonna go ahead and give Copilot a prompt to create a presentation from the file via that sharing link. And we can now see that Copilot has accessed the documents. It begins to build out the outline of all of the slides. And in doing so, it begins to pull out the content and then summarize it, ready to be inserted into our PowerPoint file. And as if by magic, here are now the slides being created in front of us. Project Green Space now has a PowerPoint file and there is 13 slides of content. It includes the header slide, the agenda, the project overview, the objectives, the deliverables, the project budget, which is a table taken from our Word document and a project timeline in the same scenario. So that's a great way we can take content and summarize it straight from Microsoft Word into our PowerPoint file. Let's go ahead and have a look at our project overview slide here. It's pretty detailed, but if I go down to my notes section inside a PowerPoint, we actually see there's been a number of notes generated by Copilot and added into the slide for me. This area at the top of the actual notes has been generated by Copilot and the original content it's taken it from is also described below. So you also get notes as well as the slides created using Copilot allowing you to understand the context of the slide and then also update and refine those notes to make them even better, but it gives you a great place to start from as well. And of course, your slides may need some design. And what we can also use is designer. Yes, by left clicking on this slide here and going to the right, we'll see that designer is still available. Sadly, Copilot does not integrate with designer just yet, but hopefully in the future, we'll see just that. And here, well, we'll go ahead and select one of these designs here. And I could now begin changing my slides and applying different design themes to best meet the requirements of my presentation that's upcoming. As we can see here, in a couple of clicks, we can make it even look more professional. 
What we've taken though is a comprehensive report, transformed it into a PowerPoint file, applied design themes all in a few minutes. A task that could take hours now means I can spend more time focus on the more important things in life. But what if you're a decision maker and you need to review slides either before a meeting or after the meeting? You need to understand what was presented and also if any decisions need to be made by you. Well, Copilot can also help you out as well. In this presentation, it's all around coffee flavorings for a coffee shop that we're opening as part of our project Green Space. And as you can see, there are 19 slides very detailed around all of the flavorings we have for different coffees and also including information on how popular they are as well in the US. That's very powerful information. That could take me a while to digest and understand. And also, while well, there might be actions here at the bottom that I now need to take forward, agreeing the different coffee flavors we're gonna sell and also the pricing as well. Can Copilot help me out though if I didn't have time to digest all this information? Well, it absolutely can. Let's go to the right hand side in the Copilot sidebar. This time I'm going to select Summarize this presentation. Copilot will take the content and summarize what it finds inside of all of those slides. The reference points we also see will also send you back to the relevant slide where it pulls that information from. So you're easily able to go back to the relevant slide where it's made that assumption or summary of that information from itself. And also you can see here, it also picked up the actions that Scott is to agree on the coffee flavors to sell and the pricing on the flavorings, which is great to understand. But also what I'd like to know is also some more information to help me make that decision. Now, of course, Copilot is just that. It's not autopilot, but if I need to make a decision, I can therefore ask Copilot to help me out. What's the best recommendation for the flavorings based on the information in this PowerPoint deck? And as we can see here, it's identified that vanilla is the best flavoring from the information in the PowerPoint file, because it also, it's the most popular coffee flavoring in the world. So there you go, Copilot's helped me make a decision on the information in the slides, and also I knew exactly what I was required to do by asking Copilot in the first place. Before we get PowerPointed out, I'd love to tell you how we can help you on your journey. Because here at Your365 Coach, we built it around your needs. Yes, if you're struggling in Microsoft 365 or need to know how you're gonna get started on your Copilot journey, why not reach out to us at the website below? Not only that, on our website, you'll find more information about our coaching, consulting, and on-demand masterclasses and even a free Microsoft 365 ebook to get you started. Otherwise, let's dive back into PowerPoint and Copilot and continue to see the way it's gonna change the way that you create presentations. And finally, let's not forget that sometimes we need to draft presentations from scratch and we might be scratching our heads to find out the best way to structure that. But why not have Copilot help us out? No matter our project within Project Green Space, we need to also run a session with our community stakeholders, letting them know the benefits around green spaces in general and the benefits to the community. But how can I get started with that? Well, let's ask Copilot to help us out. Once again in the Copilot sidebar, I'm gonna go down and ask Copilot to generate that presentation file. This time, not from a Word file, providing as much information as possible to create the awesome presentation file from our prompt. And there we go, I've now sent my prompt into Copilot and we can see that I've asked here for a presentation for Project Green Space. It's around the community that we're presenting to with the benefits and to the environment. But importantly this time I've asked for designs around a green space, trees, grass and volunteering. We can actually see now that this has been created by Copilot right in front of our eyes. We can see here that it's around improving London's health and environment, what the benefits are by adding green spaces in general, and also to the community and the environment. We can also see that this design has been applied without using the designer in PowerPoint as well, and it's used images that also more suit the slide itself. So this here is a real powerful way to get started one of your presentation files, just by asking Copilot and providing the relevant information Remembering the more information, all the better the content, but it's a great way to get started with your next PowerPoint file. 
And there you have it. We've now found three ways that you can use Microsoft 365 Copilot inside of PowerPoint to craft your next presentation. Ultimately, all the options I've shown you are all around saving time. And that means you can focus your time on the more important things. Now, of course, what's really important as well is remembering that Copilot is not autopilot. What it creates should be checked. But even more importantly, remembering that PowerPoints and presentations are fantastic, but it's all around you. Yes, the presenter is what makes that presentation. So ensure you know the content that you're presenting. Don't rely on Copilot to jump in and help you out if you get stuck on that all important question. And from a technology perspective, well, I hope to see more great features inside of PowerPoint and Copilot in the future. But otherwise, if you like this video, please hit that like button to let me know that this has helped you along in your journey. And also hit that subscribe button to come on a journey with me and turn you into a productivity superstar and able to use the tools that you already have in much better ways. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you on the next one.